We saw CJ Gardner Johnson go down with an upper body injury. There has been some speculation as to what exactly he's dealing with. Currently, it seems like sources are reporting that he has in fact suffered a torn pectoralis muscle and he's due to miss significant time. The pec major is the superior most and the largest muscle in the shoulder region. And so I wanna go over the anatomy of that. And it's actually a very rare injury and I wanna go over that as well in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Nick Gallo and I'm a doctor of physical therapy. And with this channel, I take a look at sports injuries and explain them so that they're a little bit easier to understand. I also talk about what that person should expect when in physical therapy. And finally, I normally will go over an, an expected timetable for them to return. If you like this content and you find it informative, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I will be making more videos in the future regarding sports injuries, rehabilitation, and other physical therapy related content. Also, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those in the comment section below. Now we can see here on this video that as CJ is making the tackle, he's going to rotate his body and use his right arm to essentially pull the offensive player into the turf. Then we see after that, as CJ is getting ready for the next play, he seems to stretch out that area and sort of just feel right exactly where that pectoralis major is located. So here I have a model of the shoulder joint. And so the pec major essentially is located right in through here. It's going to originate in two different places. The first is going to be the clavicle or the collarbone. It's going to basically attach to more of the medial or inside portion of this bone. And then it's also going to extend into the sternum or the breastplate. I don't have a picture of that model here, but that is essentially the bone that's located in the center of our chest. And then the pec major is going to come down and insert onto the greater tuberosity of the humerus. This is why, although we don't think of the pectoralis major or essentially the chest muscles as being part of the shoulder, because it does attach there, this is why it is technically considered a shoulder muscle. Now the pec major is involved in a few motions at the arm and shoulder joint. The first being horizontal adduction, which is essentially the arm coming towards midline like this. It's also involved in something known as internal or medial rotation. This is where we're going to essentially rotate the arm in. And so if you've ever given somebody a hug or you've done a pec fly in the gym, you know that as you bring that arm forward in, and if you tend to rotate your arms, you can get more of a squeeze in your pec muscles. Depending on where the arm is located, this can also isolate specific fibers of the pec major. So for example, if your arm is extended or behind your body and you go to flex it, you're going to be activating more of the clavicular fibers. And then the opposite of that, if your arm is already extended overhead and you come down like this, you're going to be activating more of those sternal fibers. Now, although this is a rare injury to see, we do see it uh, specifically with people that lift weights, specifically the bench press, because they are essentially overloading that pec major. And as we take a look in this video, it's not that difficult to see why he actually would be at risk for a pec rupture here. So as he's bringing that defender into the ground, he is doing a lot of forced stretching of the chest initially. And then as he comes through, he is forcefully horizontally adducting his shoulder as well as getting a lot of internal rotation. So as he does this motion, he's essentially doing a very extremely heavy pec fly with that one arm, which puts him at risk for overloading that tissue, which could result in a rupture. Now there's a grading system for these pec injuries. That's of course grades one, two, and three. In a grade one, this is where you're going to get some stretching of the affected muscle. In grade two, you're getting partial tearing. And finally in grade three, you're getting a full rupture. Usually in cases where a person does suffer a full rupture, this is going to require surgical reattachment. Since they're currently saying that it's looking like he's dealing with a torn pec, that most likely means a rupture. Once we get the specifics about that, I'll go ahead and provide an update in the comment section. But if he's dealing with a full rupture, typically what we see is that it takes about four months or so until a person makes a recovery. But usually there is a precaution where that person should not be doing any sort of heavy bench pressing up to about the nine month mark. So this would mean that if he is dealing with a full rupture requiring surgery, he will miss the remainder of the season, unfortunately. Then of course, as he's in physical therapy, we have to be very careful because we're going to be protecting essentially the surgical site. So this really depends on the surgeon's protocol and what they wanna do, but gently we start off doing very easy range of motion. And then finally, when they're appropriate, we can start to progress to more advanced things. But if he's dealing with a partial tear, on the other hand, he's going to miss significantly less time and could make a return to the field this season. But we're just going to have to wait and see the results of that MRI so that we can make an accurate timetable for his return. If I happen to hear any updates, I'll be sure to update everybody. Also, if you happen to hear anything, please feel free to update me as well. 
And that's it as of right now regarding CJ Gardner Johnson's most recent potential pec tear. I wish him the best of luck moving forward. This is a tougher injury to come back from, but I have a feeling because he's a professional athlete and has basically unlimited resources, he will make a full recovery. Once again, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more of it, please subscribe to the channel because I will be making more of these videos in the future. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.